Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Maximus Black. And I'm Batman. And uh, <laughs> we are bringing you When Cheese Fails, Episode 3. Well, Cheese Fails 101, Episode 3, I should say. Sure. And uh, hopefully this game is a little longer than one minute. Well, yeah. Uh, that would be nice. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if I could take another one of those abrupt endings. Yeah, the last, the last one, we, we ended up casting because we're not watching these. And uh, it so happened that uh, it was like a minute long. So we decided <laughs> we're going to do another one right away and upload this one because the other one was just like a tease. Yeah, no, I want to reiterate one more time for those of you who see uh, Revan online. That is R-E-V-A-N, Revan. Uh, I want to make sure that you guys all call him the Minuteman and uh, to harass him uh, to no end. Thank you. All right. Well, on the right side, we have <laughs> Sneaky, uh, a blue Zerg. All right. And, uh, and up top here, we have Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Starting up in the north position as Bad a Terran. Movie. Ter- I was actually about to make the movie reference. Bad movie. It's a horrible movie. Terrifying cover when you're eight years old. But oh, my ter- God. Like, I used to, when I used to, like, uh, me and my buddy, well, you, you know who Travis is. Well, yes, because I knew him before you. Anyways, I, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I moved on the street with Adam, and uh, there's this young guy. Um, his name's Travis, and we ended up being good friends. And uh, his mom was working at a corner store. And, and and we always used to, like, during the summer, all we do is watch movies. Like, we go catch frogs and then watch movies. <laughs> and uh, we, 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 yeah, I know, exciting lives, huh? <laughs> and uh, we decided that we were going to start watching scary movies. So, like, we went to The Exorcist and, like, uh, the Chuckies and stuff like that. Those were funny. Those were. And then <laughs> there was always that movie Hellraiser that we never really had the balls to get because no. the covers were so intense. They were intense. It's like a guy with spikes in his head all over the place. It's got bad news written all over it. I ended up watching them later on in life, and they just weren't scary at all. But as a kid, they are pretty scary. But that's my little Hellraiser rant. All right. Uh, back all into right. the game here. Okay. Um, this is Cheese Fails 101. and There's it, your cheese. And I guess here's your cheese. Um, proxy. That is a that is an aggressive proxy barracks. That is literally on the doorstep. Yeah. Um, so I assume we're probably going to see, like, maybe a fast marine rush. Um, I, 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 was, I thought it was going to be tanks, honestly. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we're probably going to see some marine rushing here, and it, I'm curious to see what Sneaky is going to do if he doesn't find out that that barracks is their ASA. And it looks like he is going to find out because he's going to do a fast expansion. Oh, look. And here we are. Is he going to cancel this right away, or is he going to just let her go? Let's find out. And uh, <laughs> At this point, he's going to let her go. <laughs> it looks like he's going to let her go. So... Um, not a whole lot going on. It's just typical build here for the Zerg, except that he is doing that fast expansion. Pushing out Six Sling and his Queen. I just want to make sure and see if Red is still building probes and or SCVs, and he is. They're both even, and the bunker goes down right now. So it looks like he's getting bunker rush, and he's got five Marines queued up. In the meantime, the Zerg player is saying... Okay, that's not going to happen. <laughs> he needs to kill that SCV right away, and he is going right after that, that SCV, making sure that that uh, bunker does not go down, and I hope that this isn't the end of this cheese fails because that is going <laughs> to be... That would be really unfortunate. Yeah, I'll have to start watching two, games two in a row, beforehand yeah, exactly. if, if this is Why it. the barracks? Yeah, he should be killing that that uh, that bunker right now. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, come on. No, no, no you need to... There, there, you, yeah, go. there you go. Kill the bunker because this... No, these are Marines. These are more Marines, and here comes the SCVs, and uh, he's still going at it at that barracks. I don't know why he just doesn't lift that barracks off, and he's still continuously building Marines one at a time. And it looks like this Marine he's might gonna bite the oh, dust. Yep, as well. and he's gonna bite the dust. And a couple of Marines here coming from behind, finally lifting that off. Maybe he was doing that to buy himself some time. I don't know what the purpose of that was, but that 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 fa- that uh, barracks was just basically a suicide factory there for a bunch of solid uh, men. And there. he's gonna start healing both of these. Okay. Um, all and right. uh, he's gonna finish this bunker. And if, when this bunker finishes, these marines go inside. This that, is not gonna be looking good. No, that's gonna be a whole lot of trouble actually. Link's come out. He needs to get all those guys in those bunkers. Just gets them in the bunker just in the nick of time. And holy holy Link. Link! Sneaky might actually get out of this. I don't. But think he's so. Chasing SCVs, taking massive damage, needs to run away. What would you do in this case? Adam? What would I do in this case? Uh, I would curl up in the corner of a room and cry like a schoolgirl. And then once <laughs> I was done, once I was done with that, 
I would actually would have, first of all, canceled that expansion and retreated back into my base and just focused on uh, getting to Roach as fast as humanly possible. Uh, and, and then maybe just, uh, you know, try desperately. First of all, that bunker would have been the first thing I destroyed, not tried to kill the, uh, yeah, the, I agree. The, the, the back barracks. barracks, because he almost killed the barracks, so obviously he had more than ample time to get rid of that bunker. Yep. And now that bunker has just come back to haunt him, because there goes, what is that, 300 minerals? 300 for that, minerals uh, for that hatchery. Down. And you know what, if he would have canceled that hatchery, he would have been able to build, you know, three spine crawlers. And uh, kind of creeped out here and made sure that no Marines or any more cheese is coming up into his base. But at this point, I think he is in a world of trouble here. He is getting a, uh, he does have a Banelings nest. So, I mean, that's... He's, he's taking some correct steps here. He is taking some correct steps. I mean, you know, they, they do steamroll through the Marines. Um, but is he going to be able to get enough? And it looks like um, uh, Hellraiser's SCV count kind of shit the bed there. And he's not really building any more SCVs. And this is where a lot of cheesers make a huge mistake. When they have the game in their hands, they kind of stop production at their base. Yeah, and that's really... And there's a, oh, there's a, there's a, 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 there's a coming spire up. coming up. So he is getting all the way aggressive here. And really, uh, why not? Because like we were just saying, uh, Macro is basically all but stopped for Hellraiser at this point. He is all the way in for this cheese. And uh, here's the, you know, the Marines... That's a, that's a great deal of Marine, really, if you think about it. Especially with only a couple of Ling and that Queen to fend off. And that spine crawler not in the best placement I've ever seen in my entire life. No, it, and, and it's... And it, it really should be up right in back of this... Oh, uh, he's putting one there. And that shouldn't be there either. It should be behind, in between the mineral line and his uh, lair well, right now. Well, one thing that I will say that is decent about this spine crawler placement is he's making sure that no Marines come in behind here. And take out all of these drones. I, I maybe, sure. maybe that's his his thinking. I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, he isn't dead yet. So nope. I mean, that's good. Another bunker going down, and a factory going down outside his base. This guy is just straight up. He's building. He's building he, a base in his base. Yo, dog. I, I heard you like bases, so I built a base in your base. So I, I can. Uh, that's a terrible <laughs> joke. Okay, all right, so, so there's the Baneling, and where are you going with those Baneling? Oh, no, and he might get one off, and oh. But it's not enough to do it. It's just not enough. You can't do it with only one. You need at least two, and that bunker, if he ran those in there, would have been gone. Oh, yeah, he would have destroyed that bunker, and, and it looks like sneaky, not so sneaky. And there goes um, all those Banelings he's just building up here. If he's yep. smart, he's going to get rid of the other two if as well. He should be building more queens. I'd like to see him grab another queen, so that Is way that he can... Is that is a Nidus. Holy crap! What is he gonna do with the Nidus? Where is a Nidus going? Where? Well, he's got an Overlord up, up, up top. Oh. <laughs> yes. He's got a Nidus going up right now. And that is the. But does he most... have units? Oh, he's bringing oh, in he's his just, drones. He's bringing everybody. He's, his that's queen, massive his wing. This is ec mass exodus, is what this is right oh, now. Oh my god! Oh. Look at this. He's behind the fog. Red, this is all of his units are going down towards his base, and he's and now coming in. here comes the Calvary! <laughs> drone pump! Oh my goodness, epic battle music please for these drones right now. That's all I'm giving you. But and here we go. Amazing. Look at this. And here comes this the is, wing reinforcement. This is epic. It looks like the Terran is shit in the bed right now and getting ruined. Meanwhile, a couple of Marines trying to take out this uh, spawning pool. This the is, drones are just all in here. Lings, everything. This is the true this is the truest sense of the word base trade. This is a straight this is, up this base trade. This is an actual base trade. He brought everybody and their dog back from the base and is now killing subsequently <laughs> the entire thing. With a bunch of drones and like eight zerglings, this is absolutely stellar. I want to look at the units right now. He's healing that tank, though. I'm liking this right now. And the, but 18 zerglings are, are out on the field right now, and with all of those uh, oh, drones oh, as well, oh, oh, is SCVs just... are just shitting. And here we go. Oh, Wings taking man. all the out. Does he have enough to build an SCV? He has not enough money to even build an SCV right now. He's dead in the water at this point. I don't know what he's going to do. Maybe he has enough units to kind of... Is this just going to be like a, a war of attrition? Who can kill who first? He still is has a siege tank. All right, siege tank's huge. The siege tank is massive right now. He's going to have to use can, that properly, though. Yeah, he doesn't want to waste any of his units um, attacking any of the uh, structures <laughs> or anything like that. He can't. 
you know, he's got to stay away from these brood, these little... Oh, the broodlings! Oh, my God. Oh! Sour. Every unit right now is precious. He's this got is one Marauder, one SCV, one tank, and nine Marines. Against, That's all he's got. Against 16 Ling, a Queen, and 11, 11 drones. drones. Who will win? <laughs> and this command center is slowly dying right now. N now is is he gonna go? What is he gonna do? Well, here? he doesn't have the mineral. It's, the interesting part is that is that sneaky doesn't have the minerals to really start off all over again. Yeah. So he's basically it's just gonna be if he can get down there, he's gonna have to kill them off. He's gonna have to wait for the perfect opportunity uh, to try and flank these guys because if he doesn't do it just right. Those Marines are enough to kite and kill, especially with that tank as backup. This is going to be close. I don't know. I don't know if I like the fact that those Marines are by themselves, especially when oh, those, those broodlings, broodlings come out. Again. You got to stay away from that. He's got to be using this. Oh, and there goes the tank. There goes the tank. He's he need, gone. He needed to use that tank to destroy the buildings as far away as possible so that those broodlings did not come and kill. And, and those these Zerglings lings, are going to do it. These lings are coming in now, picking off this last Marine. <laughs> All he has left is this bunker. And a single SCV against seven Ling and eleven drones. If he just brings the drones in and starts mining, in, then it's game over. It's so game. all he has to do is just sit back and Bring enjoy. Bringing out these four Marines now needs to micro these very correctly. If one of the Marines going down, every Marine is precious. More Lings coming out. The Ling speed is just too much, and the last Marine falls. falls. O M G. I. W T F. Hell Hellraiser adequately. Rage quits. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love it. That was one of the greatest things I've ever witnessed. He was raising hell for quite a while. He was. And ironically, Sneaky was insanely sneaky and dropped uh, one of the most genius Nidus uh, canals I've ever seen, or Nidus worms, sorry, and actually just took out his base with a bunch of drones and zerglings. And that, it, he just did a mass exodus of his base of what he had left. And that was it was epic. And it, yeah. And it was, it was enough to actually win him the game. I can honestly tell you that as I was watching that game, I was trying to think of clever ways so I can sound smart on here to that you was, guys. That was probably not one of them. For, like, for ways he could possibly get out of it. And I totally did not think of that at all. No. And this guy, under all that pressure, chucked it down and held it down, and he was sneaky. No kidding. And his name just lives right up. <laughs> just, just lives up to his that name. That was epic. I want to thank Sneaky for sending in that replay. We salute you, sir. It, it, and this, this is the kind of stuff we need right here. This is. This is the stuff. Not the one minute and 35 seconds. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to leave it at that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. There'll be uh, another uh, Cheese Fails 101 next week. Yep. And uh, this is Maximus Black. And this is Nova War. Comment. Rate, subscribe, do backflips, tell your friends, dtdgamer.com. Peace out. Peace.